Hey everybody, what's going on? This your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming now today. What I wanna talk with you guys about is how you can get your music on TikTok. Now, this is pretty much a DIY way that you can do in case your distributor is not letting you put your song on TikTok for whatever reason. Now, this will pretty much give you a high quality version that you can use as a part of your TikTok content and for your TikTok campaigns that I know you guys have been planning. Now this video is a part of the Brand Man Network TikTok series. I'll make sure to leave a link to those other videos in the description below. We also do TikTok consultations for those of you who are thinking about running those types of campaigns. I'll make sure to link that in the description below as well. Now before we get into the TikTok stuff, come and follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to put my ad name on the screen. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all of that good stuff. Now with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, for those of you who may not know, TikTok is pretty much a social media app that's used for lip syncing videos, sketches, comedy stuff. It's pretty much Vine 2.0 for those of you who remember that. The app has been used in pretty recent viral campaigns with the most notable being Lil Nas X's Old Town Road. Now, it's something that me and Sean have preached to you guys before that you should hop into, but before you can start to run your campaigns on there, whether it be through your own content or through influencers, is you must first get your music on the platform. Now, normally this is something that your distribution will handle. But I have gotten DMs and emails from people asking, what do you do in a situation that is not on there? What do you do if your distributor does not offer the service to put your music on TikTok? So what I wanna do is go into my phone and show you guys pretty much the DIY way that you can put your music on the platform in a pinch. All right guys, so here we are on the home screen of my phone. Now, the method that I'm going to show you is pretty much the best way that I've seen to put your song on TikTok. It gives you the ability to put a high quality version of your song on there and it also allows you to choose which section of your song that you want to actually be on TikTok. Outside of that, it links back to your profile so as you're doing what you do and the song starts to spread, as people are uh, using it and clicking on it and seeing it, they'll be able to see that it started on your profile. Now, for this example, we're going to assume that you know Drake has reached out to me and asked me to put his song on TikTok because his label has dropped the ball. And just like you guys, I would tell Drake that the first thing he needs to do is to create some type of promo video with the song attached. Now, this can be as complex or as simple as you want it to be, meaning it could be an animated video or it could be you dancing to the song or like a mashup of clips or it could be something as simple as the cover art with the song underneath. Now, I already created one, so pretty much what I did is this. So as you can see, it's nothing crazy. It's just the cover art with the song playing underneath. Now, I made this in Adobe Premiere. If you don't have access to the Adobe Suite, then I would recommend you something like iMovie or whatever the Android equivalent of iMovie is. You pretty much just need a software or an app that allows you to edit video or stitch together pictures and music or video or something like that. Now, I'll talk about a different method later that if you just for whatever reason can't get access to these types of resources, there's something else that you can do. The quality of the song will be a lot lower in that, but it's something that you could do in a pinch. Like I said, if for whatever reason you really can't find an app or software or something to edit videos on. Now, once you get your promo video created, what you'll want to do next is to actually go to TikTok. So, so here we are. Um, this is TikTok's home screen pretty much. Content from people that, I, that you already follow is the first thing that shows up. You can see in the bottom left that there's the home screen, you have your discover button, which is pretty much the equivalent of Instagram's explore feed. You have your inbox and then you have your home page. Now, what you'll want to do is you'll want to click that plus button in the bottom middle of the screen. This brings you to the screen where you can either create a video. You see it has the filters, the timer, the flash, all that cool stuff. What you'll want to do is you'll want to go to upload on the bottom right. And you'll want to upload your promo video. And it pretty much brings you to this screen. You'll just want to click next. And then once you get to this screen, you'll want to click next as well. And it'll pretty much bring you to the posting screen. Now, of course, you'll want to add some type of caption. It doesn't have to be complex. Don't overthink it. So it could be something like new single out now. Um, stream it on all 
platforms. Something like that. You can be as creative as you want to be. Um, you can use hashtags on TikTok, so very similar to Instagram and Twitter. TikTok also uses hashtags to categorize their content to help spread it out. You can use genres, other artists' names, or I would recommend going to the uh, the Explore feed of TikTok and kind of stealing hashtags from those posts and using it there. And you also want to leave the video public. Uh, you want people to be able to see it, unless for some reason I guess you do something weird with it and you don't want people to see it. For the most part, you'll just want to leave the video public. So once you have this situated, you'll just want to post the video. And it does take a while for the video to go up, but once you have it situated, we'll move on to the next step. So now we have our post. What you'll want to do next is to click on the post. And as you can see, in that bottom of the screen, the bottom left, you see the music icon. That is pretty much the sound. So you see it says original sound, Corey. So whenever you make a video on TikTok or you upload something, it's always an original sound that's attributed to you. Now, what you'll want to do next is you'll want to click on the sound and it will bring you to this page right here. Now, this page is what everyone sees whenever they click on the sound. It pretty much shows what was the original video. So going back to it'll be linked to your page. This is what I meant. And you'll just want to come up here to the top and click edit. Now, if your TikTok page is your artist name, then you don't need to put your artist name in the title. So if my page was called Drake, if I was Drake, then I could just put the song How About Now and very similar to the sound, it will be How About Now dash my at name, Corey. But if your at name isn't your artist name, let's say it's something unique, uh, like how Drake's Instagram name is Champagne Poppy, then you will want to put your name in this. So it will be something like this. So Drake, How About Now? Now you can't use dashes in the title so you can't have it dashed out um, so you'll have to pretty much leave it spaced out so Drake how about now put your title and then click confirm and it does take a second so I'm gonna close out TikTok and come back into it just to show you guys what's up so now that it's kinda of taking a second to uh, update itself if you come back to it you can see in the bottom left now it says how about now Corey, or Drake how about now And as you can see right there, like I said, if your artist name is your profile, you don't need to put it in there. But like I said, I'm not Drake, so it has to be in there. So this is pretty much the best way to upload a high quality audio of your song to TikTok. The only downside to this, as opposed to having your distributor do it, is it doesn't link directly to your Apple Music. Which, yes, that is kind of a problem, but... I personally feel like if the song is good and you're really pushing it and you're really promoting it and people like it, they will go find it. They're not going to let the fact it doesn't link directly to, to Apple Music stop them from being able to find your song. Now, earlier I did say that there's another method that you can do if for whatever reason you don't have some type of video editing software. And that's pretty much if you go back to the, uh, the plus button where you can make a video. What you could do is you could record a video with the song playing in the background. Like I said, it will give it a very low quality sound, but it is something you can do. And then pretty much follow the exact steps as mentioned before. And that'll get you set up. That'll give you the ability to still create the song and rename it whatever you want it to be. So there we have it, guys. Like I said, that is the DIY version of putting your song on TikTok. If for whatever your reason, your distributor is not letting you do it. So... Get creative with your promotional videos because they will be public. People will be seeing it on your page as you use it because I'm going to assume that you'll be actively using your TikTok page. So make something brand uh, that's you know, uh, congruent to your brand, something that's compelling. Make sure you get the catchiest part or the best part of your song on there. And yeah, go ahead and get yourselves lit on TikTok. So there it is, guys. That's pretty much how you would put your music on the platform. Now, like I said before, this video is the first in a series of videos from the Brand Man Network detailing how you can best use TikTok to help you out. If you would like to check that out, I make sure to put the link to that in the description below. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.